Okay, so for the one-step punching for our curriculum, there's four of them, and all four have four stages. They all work off the same pattern of basic defense, step two is follow-up strikes, step three is takedown, and step four is follow-up on the ground. Remember, one-step punching is not a real punch. It's just a partner drill where he's essentially going to stick something out there and let me work on it. It's used to teach targeting, minimal amount of timing, certain amount of flow, and kind of understanding how our techniques can fit together within Tong Sudo, American Tong Sudo specifically. So as we start out, number one is a right attack. That's on film now. <laughs> and right attack means he's going to step back with his right foot and left hand low defense. He key ups, that means he's ready. When I key up, he'll punch. Okay? Nothing else I say will make him move until I key up. So for yellow to purple belt, number one, it's just basic counter punch number two. Step in with the left foot, parry, and punch to the liver. Slowly, as he attacks, parry, and punch under to the liver. And that's number one, step one. Step two, so going from purple belt to orange belt, as he attacks, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to add more strikes now. One, two, three, four. And so slowly, same start, counter punch two, chop to the bridge of the nose, clear the arm away as I palm strike up under the chin, Grab behind the neck to bring him down, knee, either body or face, and then left elbow, base of the skull. Okay? Now, for step three on number one still, as we go essentially from orange belt to eight gut blue belt, I'm going to take him down at this point. Okay? So as he attacks, Slowly, everything the same, I'm just adding at each level. Counter punch two, parry and punch the liver. Chop to the bridge of the nose. Clear and palm strike. Knee, elbow, continue that same arm through to underhook as I do the putter kapala or head turn takedown. I'm going to turn my body to face the other way as I bring his head through and his arm over. Essentially push down, hook punch over. From here you have choices. You can drop down and strike or just kick him and be done. Okay. For the last step, stage four, we're going to follow up after we take down. Essentially we're going to flip him over. Um, this is going from eighth gut blue to seventh gut blue. So as he attacks, so as we go through this slowly now, and we're actually going to angle a little bit for the camera's sake here. So as he attacks, stage one. Stage two, stage three, bring him down. Now I catch his arm. And so for stage four, I'm really just running around his head, keep it low to the ground as I bring him over. From here, bend it back, shin across the spine, right above his belt. So I'm pinning that arm right above my leg. Palm towards him as I come down. I want to find his fingers to bend him up and put that one behind too. Once I'm here, I pick up. Striking from this point is optional. Generally, our strike from here is going to be an inverted chop to the base of the skull or a brainstem area. And that concludes one step number one. Go. So for one step number two, it's going to be a left attack. This time he's going to do a right hand knife or low defense, excuse me, a right hand low defense as he steps back with his left foot. So as he attacks, and now when the punch comes after IKEA, he's going to step with his left and punch with his left. So for number one, stage one, or excuse me, number two, stage one, we're just going to be doing from our basic curriculum, basic movement right, which is going to be step and kick. 
For stage one, it's going to be a kick to the knee, side kick. So as we start out, and that's number two, stage one. So done slowly as he attacks. Move out of the way with your first step, and then just come straight up with the side kick to the front top of the knee. And that's it. Now for the next stages, just so it's a little bit easier for the camera to see some of this, we're actually going to change angles here. So as we switch sides, this way I can face the camera and explain a little bit better. So for number two, stage two, we're going to follow up with strikes. So if done slowly, or you know, not as fast, then when he attacks, as I come in, I'm still doing the same side step and side kick. Move over to the right, left side kick. From here, turning back kick with the right leg to the ribs, land kind of to the side, ball of the foot round kick. So a normal round kick, toes are pointed. For the ball of the foot, I'm curling my foot completely back as I round kick this way. It's still a snapping kick, but the target can be anywhere from bladder, solar plexus, sternum, face, wherever your abilities allow. From there, I'm coming in, round kick to the back of the calf to kind of drop him down a little bit. So I come over with the elbow, and then right hook punch to the kidney. And that's stage two. Stage three, now we're going to take him down. So, for the takedown part, as we do the slower, attack please. Same side step, one, turning back kick, ball to foot round kick, calf kick, elbow, kidney punch. Left hand, push the face away, right hand, wrap over the eyes and nose. My elbow stays anchored down behind his shoulder as I'm going to pull back and down to put him on his face, on his stomach. From here, I'm just lifting up. Striking is optional. It doesn't matter at this point which hand you hold on to. Okay, come back up. Just uh, changing angles on the takedown part. Let's come this way, please. So when the punch comes, just put it out for me. Okay, so I go, I do all my kicks, side kick, turning back kick, ball to foot, leg kick, elbow hook, and I'm here. So when I do the takedown, one, two, you can see I spin on my left foot to bring him down. Okay, so I can hold on here or here, it doesn't matter at this point, and then just striking. Okay, now last stage, we're going to follow up on the ground. We're going to what's called a surfboard block or hold. So it's something in a category of techniques we call time hold, just because once you get it, it's kind of easy to sit there without a lot of effort. And so you have plenty of time, that means. So as he attacks, <laughs> actually, and I'm sorry, let's switch sides. It'll just make it a little bit easier. Okay, so slowly, and we're going to change angles for the camera's sake here. See attacks. Number two, stage four, Aye. and forgive me for putting my back at the camera, but it's just so you can see after the takedown. Aye. Side kick, turning back kick, ball to foot round kick, calf kick, elbow, kidney. Push away, grip. Pivot on the left foot, bring him down. That elbow stays anchored. From here, knee on the spine, just like number one, up to expose the hands. And palms out, seeking the fingers. If I need to, I can come to his elbows first and blank it out, bring them both up. I'm in a complete position here. This goes up on my thigh, switch hands. Now I have a free hand. Either hold for the tap. He can't tap right now, so if he says tap, I'm going to back off, but for training's sake. And then strike, inverted chop. Here again, could be strike, could be strike to the groin as well. Take your pick. Okay. 
And that concludes one step number two. Okay, one step number three, once again, stage, stage one through four. Stage one is entry, stage two is follow-up, stage three is takedown, stage four is follow-up from the takedown. So stage one for number three, he's going to attack right reverse. That means he's going to attack like number one, but then switch hands. So as he attacks, okay, so he's got the same right foot back, but he's switched hands. When he steps, he's going to come in with the right foot and a left cross. So to start out from our basic curriculum, stage one, the initial defense is just low punch. I'm just going to bob under the punch and strike the bladder. And that's it. Okay, so slowly, see attacks, drop, and punch the bladder right below the belt. I'm not hitting the groin, I'm hitting just above it to the bladder. Okay, stage two, I'm just going to follow up. Now remember I said this is not a real punch, it's just a statue drill. He's letting me work on him and work my material, and I'm getting some sense of flow and targeting and stringing techniques together. So he's got to cooperate a little bit on this one, otherwise I'm going to hit him in the head with the heel kick. Okay? So we're going to move this way just a slight bit, because he's going to end up taking a step back. A little bit more, please, sir. Okay. All right, so as we go, same start, and then I'm going to continue. Yep. So slowly... Let's move up a little bit. So as he attacks, ah, hit, low punch, rising elbow. Be careful not to clip your partner on your way up unless you mean to. Grab, whether you do one hand or two hands doesn't matter. I'm doing one hand for sake of camera so you can see me. Top of the head, headbutt to the face. As I move, I'll also be pulling. It would be this kind of motion. General guideline on headbutts. This is Hollywood. This is hitting somebody. There's not a lot of neck movement involved. So I tuck and move. Okay? From here, I'm going to shove him right in the shoulders, up and back. For his sake, he's going to take one step back just to give me space so I don't hit him okay, as I work. Otherwise, if I was shoving and kicking, I wouldn't matter how he moves. I would just follow him. But for the sake of working technique, one step. Notice his arms are out of the way as well. Step, turning, heel kick. Put it behind you. And that's stage two for number three. Moving on to stage three, now I'm going to take him down. I'm going to go into our dropping scissor sweep. So as he attacks, so slowly, he attacks, everything the same. Low punch. Rising elbow, headbutt, shove, step turning heel kick. From here, I'm going to step and drop to my three point stance. Left foot step inside between his feet. Drop to here. So I have a triangular base. Kick that leg through. Normally I would be sitting on his foot, but if I do this and sit on his foot, there's a good chance of breaking his ankle. That's what it's meant to do. For safety, I'm going to give him a little bit of space. So I'm here, knee goes to knee. As I bring him up, and I just come up on my knees, and then I'm striking to the groin, and done. And that's stage three. As we go to the last stage, we're going to flip him over into one of our mini hogtie positions. It's kind of an acrobatic one, something I call the Hollywood techniques, um, but it's for fun. That's bottom line. This one is just for fun, this ending. So let's move over a little bit. Stage one, stage two, rising elbow, headbutt, shove, step turning heel kick. Stage three, step in, drop, scissor sweep. Now, for stage four, and I'll turn for the camera, I'm going to bring my right leg over and take his leg over and then bring as I shove his foot down and this one over and I'm here. There's many ways I could do this. Okay, this is just one way for now for fun, like I said. 
I can either work to tap, I can strike to the spine or the kidney, um, being particularly vicious. I could just stand up and use my foot to uh, rake the groin. <laughs> Take a pick. Let's do this at a different angle. Uh, let's actually go this way. So, as he attacks, I have this knee over. When I put this one on the ground, I'm just going to take that foot and pull it out. And I'm going to put the other foot where it was. You can see my feet here now. And then all I'm going to do, stay on this knee and rotate up as I throw his leg over. Shove down, push over. And that's the end of number three, stages one through four. So for one step number four, stages one through four, my partner's going to tap with a left reverse. It's like number two, but he's going to switch hands. So left foot goes back, and hand comes out. So as he steps, he's going to step with his left and throw a right cross. So as he goes, for basics, it's just basic movement on the cross, moving left. When we move to our lead foot side, we throw the lead hook for basics. For basics means that's what we do it in the beginning. You could throw anything you want but we need a place to start from for learning's sake, just to give us a structure in the beginning. So as we start, and I'm just moving. I'm doing it really far away, so it's easy to see. Um, we don't want to throw hook punches like that. Okay, so slowly, as he moves, move left, just slip out of the way, and hook. I'm aiming my hook right over his shoulder to the side of his jaw, and that's where we go for stage one. For stage two on number four, I'm just going to follow up with more strikes, mostly hand strikes for this one step, pretty much all of them actually. So as we go, slowly, left with the hook, uppercut under the chin. You can do this with your palm, that's up to you. If you don't have that strong of hands, you may not want to be punching the point of the chin with the bare knuckle. So palm strike for the uppercut is fine. Ridge hand to the back of the neck, aiming for where the brainstem area is. Vertical punch to the liver. From there, short shuffle in, groin slap. And that is the end of stage two. So from here now, stage three, we're going to take them down. We have kind of a modified tayatosh or body drop that we do. Um, to show this, we're actually going to switch sides for the one step, just so you can see the feet and what I do with the hands a little bit better. So as we go, okay, so he attacks left reverse for number four. And as I come in, yep. Okay, so slowly. Yep. Left and hook, uppercut, ridge hand, vertical punch, shuffling groin slap. Now there's two ways you can go about this throw. One is more of a sweeping variation, and one is more of a hand throw. I'm going to clear his arm and come up just like I did in number one, but instead of striking, I'm going to come around and grab the back of his neck. From here, I'm going to move my feet. You see, I'm kind of pulling him as I make that turn, and I'm bringing the head down. I keep my elbow anchored in here and my hand up here. So it's this kind of position. Okay, he's already losing his balance. From here, I can either just sweep to bring him down, okay, carefully being careful my partner's knees, or, come back to the same position, please. So, we're here. Switch feet for me. There we go. As I clear and step up, the other way I can do it is I'm going to take a big step back as I turn and just bring the head over. The head controls the body. From here, strike how you want. Whether it's coming down with the hand strike, just using the foot, is up to you. Okay? Now, last one, still working in the same direction. For stage four, number four, we're going to follow up. We're going to go to a modified knee ride and arm bar. Okay. Huh. So as he attacks, yep. <laughs> Clear. A couple extra things in there. So as we go slowly. That's on camera now.
jump. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Left, uppercut or uppercut with the palm. Ridge hand, liver, groin slap. Clear, hand comes in, not a friendly motion. Okay, step up, step back. Using the head, either sweeping or bringing them over the leg. From here, let's turn a little bit for me surface for the sake of the camera. Once I'm here, I'm gonna keep the wrist and I want them on his side if I can, but either way is fine. I'm using my foot like a hook. I'm not having my foot on the ground, it's on his ribs. And then I drop down across his upper abdomen. Okay, I'm not on his chest, just below it. And I'm hanging on. You can see my knee is not actually on the ground. Okay, and so all my weight is on that hook of my foot. My foot is off the ground back here, and my knee is off the ground here. So I'm on him. This is for balance. From here I strike. There's a couple ways to do the lock. One, I can just come through here. I could also wrap it. Or I can add in the leg, which if I do that, I'm going to roll my knee to the ground for balance sake and come over and scrape. So now I have the neck and the arm involved in this. It's okay to go slow on stuff like this. We don't need to break our training partners when we're working. But from here, it's the same thing. I can also do it when I'm here, but obviously there's a lot more. See, I'm not even getting to his head when I do that one. So be careful with your training partners when you do this one. And it's fun. Now, if you lose your balance when you're going here and you start to fall backwards, then we're definitely throwing the leg over and keeping the knees tight for a more standard arm bar on the ground. Squeeze the knees tight, squeeze the foot in tight as you lay back. Okay? And that's going to be the conclusion of one step number four, stage four.